Stephen James Merchant is an English writer, director, radio presenter, comedian, and actor. He is best known for his collaborations with Ricky Gervais, as the co-writer and co-director of the popular British sitcom The Office, co-writer, co-director, and co-star of Extras, and co-host of The Ricky Gervais Show in its radio, podcast, audiobook, and television show forms. The Ricky Gobe Show in radio form won a Bronze Sony Award. Merchant appeared in the BBC series Life's Too Short, which he co-wrote and co-directed. He also voiced the character Wheatley in the popular 2011 video game Portal 2, co-developed the Sky One travel series An Idiot Abroad, and performs as a stand-up comedian. He has won three BAFTA Awards, four British Comedy Awards, two Golden Globes, and an Emmy Award. His latest role is Stuart on a show he writes and directs, called Hello Ladies. Early life, Merchant was born in Hanham, Bristol, England, the son of Jane Elaine, a nursery nurse, and Ronald John Merchant, an insurance representative. He attended Hanham High School. As he has described in XFM London shows and podcasts, Merchant was a very shy child, tending to focus on schoolwork. His school yearbook predicted that he would enjoy success. Merchant is a graduate of the University of Warwick, and a former film reviewer on the student radio station, Radio Warwick, where he began his broadcasting career. The station's 1995-96 yearbook tipped him for great things. Members of Merchant's posse included film critic James King, Dan Warren, Neil the Maskell and Geraint the Welshman. Recently, a number of tapes of The Steve Show, recorded at the time, have been rediscovered and are being distributed on various merchant fan sites. He graduated with a 2-1 in film and literature in 1996. Career Pre-Euro 2001, Merchant began his career performing stand-up comedy at Bristol's Comedy Box, where, he recalls, the first week I did really well. The second week I died on my ass. I realized that stand-up was not that easy after all. He also appeared as a contestant on a 1997 episode of the TV game show Blockbusters and worked for a short time as a DJ for Radio Caroline. Merchant met Ricky Gervais for the first time in 1997, when Gervais hired Merchant as his assistant. Merchant and Gervais hosted a Saturday afternoon radio show together from January through to August 1998, when both of them left XFM as it was bought by the Capital Radio Group. In the same year, Merchant was a finalist at the Daily Telegraph Open Mic Awards. Merchant did a total of seven years on XFM 104.9. The Saturday show never had a large audience. Gobe says it's a tin pot radio station. It's not even the biggest radio station in the building. Merchant created the features Hip Hop Hooray, Make Ricky Gobe Laugh and Song for the Ladies. After leaving XFM, Merchant began a production course at the BBC. As part of his coursework, he enlisted Gervais to perform in a 30-minute short film, CD Boss, which became the earliest inspiration for their sitcom The Office. They collaborated on a sitcom pilot called Golden Years featuring a manager suffering a midlife crisis. The pilot aired on Channel 4's Comedy Lab series in September 1998, but failed to find further success. 2001 a year 003, in mid-2001, BBC Two aired the first series of The Office, co-written and co-directed by Merchant and Gervais and starring the latter as paper sales office manager David Brent. The show initially received low ratings. Beginning in September, Merchant and Gervais returned to XFM as co-hosts of The Ricky Gervais Show, another Saturday afternoon program, which led to their fruitful relationship with producer Carl Pilkington. They took a break from the radio show in mid-2002 in order to film the second series of The Office, which aired that year. In addition to writing and directing the show, Merchant made a cameo performance in the episode Charity as a friend of Gareth Keenan's character known by the name Oggy or Og Monster. Merchant also directed a sitcom pilot called The Last Chances, which aired on Comedy Lab in November 2002 and became a five-part series broadcast in December on E4. Merchant and Gobey continued to host the Ricky Gobey show through 2003, taking another break to film the office Christmas special, which aired that December. 
the radio show went off the air indefinitely in January 2004. During 2004, Merchant appeared in a recurring role as a chef on Garth Moringa's Dark Place and in a cameo on Green Wing, and served as a script associate on the Chris Morris and Charlie Brooker sitcom Nathan Barley. The same year, The Office aired in the U.S. to critical acclaim. It went on to win the Golden Globe Award for Best Television Series a Euro Musical or Comedy which both Merchant and Gobey accepted. This was followed in 2005 by a fourth series of the radio show, consisting of six episodes. U.S. series of The Office, in March 2005, the American version of The Office premiered, with Merchant and Gobey credited as executive producers. They would later co-write the third season episode The Convict, and Merchant would direct the fifth season episode Customer Survey. Podcast series, in December 2005, with sponsorship by The Guardian, Merchant, Godvey and Pilkington began recording a weekly podcast. Throughout its first series, the podcast was consistently ranked the most popular in the world, and was certified as the most downloaded of all time by Guinness World Records. Two more series and three special installments were recorded in 2006, with the final episode released on Christmas Eve. In late 2008, they recorded four more podcasts and began a series of audiobooks examining Pilkington's perspective on various subjects. Extras, in July 2005, following a brief return of the XFM radio show, Godvey and Merchant's new sitcom Extras premiered on BBC Two. The series features Merchant in a supporting role as Darren Lamb, the incompetent agent to struggling actor Andy Millman, played by Gouvet. Series 2 of Extras aired in late 2006, followed by a Christmas special in December 2007. All three installments aired on HBO in the United States. Merchant won a 2006 British Comedy Award for Best TV Actor for his performance as Lamb. The Steve Show in January 2007, Merchant began hosting his own radio show on BBC Six Music, airing weekly on Sunday afternoons. Instead of comedy, the Steve show focused on music and particularly new music, defined by Merchant as music you've not heard before. Many of the songs on the show were suggested by listeners or co-presenters. In addition to Merchant, the show featured several of his friends, including his housemate Dan, his childhood friend Harry, and actor Rufus Gerard Wright. A spring search for Rishi J resulted in the addition of former Biker Grove actor Sammy T. Dobson joining the ensemble. The Steve show aired for four seasons and concluded in May 2009. Stand-up, Merchant began performing stand-up comedy in the late 1990s to critical success, though he decided to focus more on his work with writing partner Ricky Gouvet after the success of The Office. Merchant returned to stand-up with a nationwide tour of the United Kingdom in September 2011, under the title Hello Ladies. The tour was later released on DVD. In late 2012, the tour is set to continue with dates being announced for Australia and New Zealand. Hello Ladies, Merchant's sitcom Hello Ladies premiered on September 29, 2013 on HBO. It has been adapted from his stand-up show of the same name. Merchant's frequent partner, Ricky Gouvet is not involved in any part of the show which was instead written by Merchant, Lee Eisenberg and Gene Stupensky. After its initial run of eight episodes, HBO did not renew the show for a second season. Other work, Merchant has played small roles in the films Hot Fuzz, Run Fat Boy Run, and The Invention of Lying, the latter starring Ricky Gouvet. He has a supporting role in the 2010 film Tooth Fairy. On television, Merchant made a cameo appearance in a non-speaking role on the sixth season premiere of 24. He also starred as a sports commentator in the unaired pilot No Skillz. In 2009, Merchant and Gobe collaborated on the film Cemetery Junction, set in working-class England in the 1970s, which received mixed to positive reviews on its release in 2010. Later in 2010, Gobe and Merchant wrote, and had cameo roles in, Life's Too Short, a television show starring Warwick Davis. For television Merchant and Gouvet also produced An Idiot Abroad, starring Carl Pilkington. In 2011, he lent his voice to the CGI film Romeo and Juliet, and had a role in the Farrelly Brothers comedy Hall Pass. 
in 2012, he starred in I Give It a Year, as the best man. On October 18, 2013 he hosted an episode of the panel show Have I Got News For You. In January 2011, Merchant appeared alongside many other comedians at the Free Fringe Benefit at the Bloomsbury Theatre, London, in a show of stand-up to benefit the Free Fringe at the Edinburgh Comedy Festival. Merchant is the voice of Wheatley in Valve's 2011 video game Portal 2, a role which earned him widespread acclaim among reviewers. While he states his work on the project was exhausting, Merchant is also very pleased by the response people have had to it. What I was really pleased by how people seem to respond to it in the way they do with a movie they've enjoyed, or a TV show they've enjoyed. In 2013, he reprised this role as the voice of the app Sap in Team Fortress 2, a weapon based on the Wheatley Core. Merchant has provided the voiceover since 2009 of advertisements for Barclays and Waterstones. Personal life, Merchant is an atheist. He is the second cousin of Sarah Dallin of Bainanarama. Merchant's height is. He made a cameo appearance in The Office, playing a character nicknamed the Og Monster, whom David Brent called a big lanky goggle-eyed freak. Friend and collaborator Ricky Gervais has likened him to an upright lizard being given electroshock treatment, and a stick insect with glasses, or beaker from The Muppet Show. Carl Pilkington has described his dancing as like a bit of weird art in the past, while British comic and broadcaster Russell Brand has likened him to a graceful grasshopper. Merchant has commented that he prefers to liken himself to fellow tall man and English football player, Peter Crouch who is also 6 foot 7 inches. Merchant impersonated Crouch in a BBC sketch broadcast as part of a pre-match build-up to England's opening game at the 2006 World Cup. Filmography, film, television, video games, awards, references. External links, official website, Stephen Merchant at the Internet Movie Database, Stephen Merchant on Twitter, interviewed on BBC Radio 5 Live, XFM, biography, Tall Man, Taller Success Story A Euro interview in The Telegraph A Euro August 8, 2005, interview with Barbara Ellen in The Observer magazine A Euro November 5, 2006, An Englishman Abroad, Stephen Merchant interview, Stephen Merchant interviewed by Sophie Elmhurst on New Statesman.